Right, we're at the last part of the, the Blake um, side mount project. Um, it's changed a little bit since we've last seen it. Um, all the wells that were on the back around here have all been nicely sanded off, uh, filled in um, several, several coats of paint on it uh, to give it this nice black matte finish. Um, so we're just getting ready to, to actually mount it now. This is the, the, this is the moment. <laughs> Um, we've got the number plate, I've got a bit of some sticky pads on the back there uh, to, to stick the plate on. Um, so it's, it's going to look something like that when it's finished. Uh, and we're just going to uh, get Show it Show some of those, that filler, because it's... Um... Yeah, I mean, along here where, where the welds were, you, you can't see in any of the welds at all. It's so smooth, um, completely flat. On the inside here we had a bit of a, a gap underneath which has all been nicely filled in. Um, and now it's all smoothed out. And how many coats was that, Ollie? Um, there's altogether. There's been about I'd say eight or nine coats on there altogether. Um, a few coats ago, I did have it finished perfectly. I was uh, really happy with it. Unfortunately, I dropped the plate and it chipped <laughs> on the corner. So it was uh, back to stage one with the uh, spraying it all again. But it's a, so, a job well done, and yeah, it looks phenomenal. Look so it, it. It, it's a matte enamel plate uh, paint, so hopefully it should wear quite well. Um, and you shouldn't get too many chips or bits flaking off or anything like that so we'll, uh, we'll get it on the bike and see how it looks. Excellent. If anything's going to fail about the whole project it'll be this stuff <laughs> and it'll, it'll lose its tack in the weather but hopefully. Got the uh, got the plate fixed on with the well, thing of beauty. The, 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 the sticky pads. Uh, it's well and truly stuck on there. Uh, it's nicely aligned. So uh, here comes the fitting. There we go. We'll see what that looks like this side of the washer, which is what we're going for. You can give it a lift, get the shock in, and then uh, it should be ready. So, uh, um, oh, slipped it. Oh. Look at that, that's fantastic. Sweet. Car muscles, give us a lift. Right, here we go. Uh, we've got the plate on. We've got the shock back on plate in position. We've got it torqued up nicely. So you can see it's not going in. It's got a little bit of flex to it, which is what we want. We don't want it too rigid in case it rattles itself loose. So we've got it all nicely on there. It's nicely in line with the shot. Uh, we've taken the old number plate off, off the back. Um, so we've got rid of that. It exposes a bit more of the tyre, so we've got a nice open look on the tyre. Um, and we've also done another little tweak. So all that nice and neat. We've also done another little tweak with the wing mirrors. Instead of the wing mirrors being up here, we've flipped them down to the bottom. We've actually swapped them over, flipped them around, so it gives the bike a little bit more of a, a meaner look. I think it looks, uh, looks quite good. It looks amazing, mate. <laughs> a little bit of a reposition of the indicators because of where the, the stalks come from the, uh, the wing mirrors down the side here. So we've just angled them in ever so slightly so we can get the wing mirrors in, uh, the indicators in, and, and that's it. That Job is, well done. That is the project done. The next one, uh, when we get the financial, the financial backing, support, we're going to change the shocks for some shorter shocks. Yeah, but to get rid of that. The, yeah. The back of the the bike will actually sit about two two and a half inches a little lower, so it just covers a little bit more of the wheel, and I don't think it's going to look not mean. So, uh, See, project, everybody project needs to make like Ollie. <laughs>